Hey guys, it's your boy Ender back for another video. And today we are going to be doing a channel update. Uh, so you are all aware. There won't uh, most likely be no battles or anything. We're just going to be talking uh, about the future of the channel and such. Okay. So, um, first off, I want to thank everyone. We hit 160 subs the other day. We're at 162 now, which is awesome. We're making our way to 200. So, I recently have started school again. Summer's over. Quarantine's over, mostly. And now I'm going to school two days a week. And then the other three days, uh, I will be doing work at home. So, uh, due to this and me being an honors student, I will be having less time to make videos, which means video uh, consistency will be less than usual, because for about two months I was doing daily uploads, but I simply can't do that. Like, my academics come first, of course, but don't worry, I'm still going to be uploading. It's not going to be like... Okay, I uploaded a video like today, then there isn't another one for two months. I'm going to try to put out at least one video a week, if not more if possible. And I'm sure that once I get into the swing of things, uh, for the three days that I'm home, I'll be able to uh, make videos a lot. Well, not quicker, but I will be able to make them because I'll have the time to once I finish my work. So uh, maybe there'll be maybe two or three videos a week. And I thought it was important that I made everyone aware of this, uh, so you didn't think I just quit or something. Uh, excuse me. But yeah. Because my last video, I believe it was uh, a throwback series. I think it was Slash vs. Ace. And I put in the comments that there was going to be a slow, the videos were about to slow down in terms of upload schedule. Uh, but I, like it has a decent amount, it's just like 20, but I wanted to make a video specifically announcing this, so everyone is aware. And yeah. So, uh, I guess we can talk about some other stuff. Regarding like the anime and such. So this video isn't just like 5 seconds, well, more like a minute or two, because I ramble when I talk. But, uh, I have Celestial Aries here and in my Pariah. There will be videos, more videos on Pariah. Simply, uh, my caster driver, sorry, I forgot my camera zoomed in. Right there, if you can see, sorry, got it. There's a crack right there, which is making the driver, like, shifting to the, like, left in this case, which uh, is making it act like operate on crack, and, you know, you don't need that for a stamina type. So I'm uh, apparently reprinting the caster driver for me, uh, so I can do more videos with Pariah. So yeah, that's a little update on that uh, front. Then we all know uh, my Augustus Aries snapped in half. It is repaired, uh, but we'll be doing no battles because it will break again. Aries is being resurrected currently. I'm not going to give too many details on it, but it is in the works, and it's going to be big. It's a very big project on multiple fronts. I should have got more water before I started this video. I say like a Kit Kat bar, now like my voice is like dried out. Yeah, but uh, I'm very excited. Like, currently, it looks fantastic. Very... Very cool. Um, yeah. And I'll hopefully have that soon. Probably within like the next month or two. But yeah. Also, uh, I guess we can talk about the new World Spriggan. It is World Spriggan uh, Unite 2B. It is a flippable uh, super ring. Kind of like Master Diabolos. Uh, but side with one uh, detail I really like about it though is we all know the signature Spriggan Axe, but on the right spin side of World, uh, the axe is white like Requiem, like the flames from Requiem. And instead of just being like a white axe, it actually has fire coming off of it and stuff. 
it looks awesome. I really like that. Because uh, white's one of my favorite colors on Spriggan, which I don't think we've had white since Chosey. And it wasn't even that much. I think it adds a lot of detail. And uh, the Super Ring is primarily red, which I love. Because I think gold is, as you can tell from all my areas, I love the color gold. But I think it looks better as a added detail and not like the whole bay like on Lord and Chosey. Which I like Chosey. I think Lord looks weird. It's because of, like the I think it would have looked better if it was gold axes with red or like just not gold for the whole bay because that is, it looks dumb like that. Yeah, okay, that's enough rain about no. <laughs> Lord, but I'm really excited about it, I will be getting it. And there is a, uh, apparently the chassis will have a gimmick as well, where it can either be free spinning, depending on what spin direction the base is in, or it can be, uh, like, not move at all, like most chassis. Then it has a uh, Unite Dash with a gold slash yellow rubber on it, which is cool. I was kind of hoping that we would get Zeta Metal, because Zeta is one of my favorite drivers. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, uh, what else? I don't know. I remember I saw a few leaks. Uh, I probably shouldn't talk about leaks, but it regards Helios in the manga. Yeah, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out. Uh, what, that, what I mean about that. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Hmm. Oh, uh, Instaverse, uh, he's another Baytuber, he hit 4,000 uh, subs today, which, uh, congratulations to him, that's awesome. Uh, you should also go check out his video with reviewing, uh, Inferno Backlash V2, it looks awesome in terms of colors, and it has a upgrade to Extend, called Extend Ultra, where the plastic Extend Plus chip is actually a white rubber. And it's really cool to watch the motions it does. And it doesn't seem to lose much st that stamina either, even though it's rubber and it creates more friction. It like just glides on the stadium. And if you hit it, it's like a uh, Unite, uh, like on crack. And it just hits it, and it uh, zooms around the stadium back to where it started. It's very, very interesting. Okay. Yeah. And then it's like a pinkish red color for the switch frame, which is awesome. Oh, I've also started modeling myself. I uh, entered a bay called Mad Titan V3 with the infinite, not the infinity, the gauntlet frame for Chad Files custom free print Beyblade tournament he's doing. Hopefully, I get accepted into it. And yeah, I think that's all that I have to talk about currently. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next real video. Peace out.